Wow, there's a lot of you. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the Chapman Guitar Stand. My name is Rob Chapman. I'll be your host tonight for the next 30 seconds. From Rob Chapman to Rob Scallon with his sexy, beautiful Chapman guitars. You all know who Rob Scallon is. He's always been there. So good way, Rob.
post fret was one of the guitars that sort of seeded a bit of Chapman. We thought it would be cool to bring back the ghost fret in Dragon Skin Green. By the way, these are all prototypes. So they'll be all sorts of finishes, different neck calves, radiuses. If you can imagine it, we can make it. I'm claiming that phrase. If you, if you can, I think I stole it from Fender. Chapman guitars. If you can imagine it, we can make it. Yeah. That was just a pause for effect. You'd you think we were a double act. We worked together for many, many a years. Double act in something. If I had to pick a name for your dragon, I'd probably call him Helios. Hi, my name's Lamek Yisrael. I'm here at NAMM 2018 at the Chapman booth. At the current moment, my favorite Chapman model is absolutely the uh, Chapman Norseman. Absolutely, is tailored to my specific play style. I absolutely love the colors. It's a gorgeous guitar, plays amazing, and uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, at the moment, after the NAMM show, the, uh, we have plans. We're going down and performing all over New Orleans for Mardi Gras. It's going to be a huge festival, and we're uh, currently in the works of setting up a tour all around the country. We're going to be performing in all major cities and going abroad, even across oceans, and performing in other countries. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. Welcome to the Chapman Guitar Stand. I'll make this really short and sweet. We work with some incredible artists here at Chapman. These guys are family, they're friends. They are the manifestational cosmic vibe that brings all the good things in our lives to us. We at Chapman, as well as making guitars, and I make a lot of food, we also have aspirations to make other things like pedals, maybe acoustics, amplifiers, these kinds of things. We want to spread out and just be creative and be enjoying life. To that end, what we thought we'd do in the design of some really cool Chapman effects pedals is make an individual pedal for each of our artists. Each circuit is completely unique, has a different sound. These are hand-wired by my good friend Zach from Mythos, who's working with Chapman to bring these. So I'd like to call to stage one at a time, individually, Phil Dyer. Phil Dyer, Phil, Di Phil, Phil, come here, happy Nam Day, this is for you, it's a hand-wired British American pedal made in Texas, it's a prototype Chapman pedal, it's a unique circuit, thank you, Dave Hollingworth, open it up, show the guys, Rabia Massad, by the way, these circuits are designed specifically with the player in mind, so each one has a, a circuit that would fit the way they play. Is Jared here? I don't think Jared's here. I've got one back here. Is Rob Scallon here? <laughs> Is Leo Moriakoli here? So I also have pedals for uh, Perfecto de Castro, Jared Dines, Garrett Peters, everyone that's a good artist. I want to thank the artists so much for being my bros. And yeah, they're all handmade, individual circuits. There's nothing else like them on the planet. And what we're going to do is use your feedback to create a little line of Chapman pedals. So thank you so much. Enjoy them. Thank you for being Chapman artists. And we love you. See you later. I put it in, it's like, uh, I don't know, that saxophone.
drone simulator or something. Who knows what it is? No one's gonna understand what I say anyway. I just. Convincingly, yeah. It's the best surprise I've had all week. But that way, yeah, yeah. it's the best surprise I've had. My name is Justin Lundy. I'm actually from Phoenix, Arizona. This is my first ever NAM experience. I won guest passes to the Reverb.com little Instagram contest, and I've been having the time of my life meeting all of my favorite musicians, even Rob Chapman and Rabia back there. And it's just been great so far, and hopefully I can continue to come back year after year. Hey, this is Chef Brian Sow, host of Taste of Metal on Metal Injection, also Chef de Cuisine of Beauty in Essex in New York City, uh, winner of Beat Bobby Flay season one. And I'm over here, NAM 2018. This is my third NAM right now, and I finally made it over to the Chapman booth. My favorite Chapman model would actually have to be the Rob Scallon. I love the look of it with like the two different wood colors like combined, how you have like the lighter wood on the outside and then the darker wood on the inside. I haven't played one, unfortunately, yet, but I'll probably get the chance to right now. But just the aesthetics of it is just beautiful looking guitar. Um, I would name it Skittles, yeah. I like the colors of it, so I'm going to name the Dragon Skittles. That's my favorite candy, too. So <laughs> so I've actually never played a Chapman guitar until today. I've heard about them for a number of years, and at the previous NAMs I've been to, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty overwhelming for anyone who's been to NAM. You'll know it's quite overwhelming, and I, I didn't make it over, but I'm very glad I did today because I finally got to play them, and they are some awesome guitars. I did see the British Standard range. Rob actually just showed it to me. The quality that must be coming out of those things to make only 10 a month is just unbelievable. They feel amazing. They look beautiful as well. And number three, as they say in Malta, for Peter Thomas in Forma. So, yeah, that's what I said when I touched it. This is the ML3 British Standard Baked Maple Neck Stainless Steel Frets. Beautiful nitro finishes, everything high end, switchcraft, CTS, all the good stuff. You already know this camera, that camera. Tell the people what you've got on. <laughs> Watch hot ones on YouTube. So that's what I'm talking about. Last one. The last one. Oh. But by no means least, the ML2 British Standard. So we have a full British-made line of guitars. Beautiful hard cases. Oh yeah, ridiculous hard cases. I'm super excited and proud to uh, announce these awesome, in fact all of them, uh, all the bases really, have been a long process of refinement. Um, obviously there's the signature models, and we've got the fan frets, uh, 26 frets, both of these, uh, three band active preamp, awesome woods, and, um, and also redesigning the core range, because because uh, there's been lots of changes to CITES and stuff, we had to change some of the woods, so we thought we'd completely overhaul the regular range, and they're uh, awesome as well. So, four, four awesome bases. San Francisco, California, and uh, I think I'm having a great experience here at NAMM this year. It's full of people, missing a few big ones, but uh, it's really a great show. Uh, I love it. This is actually the first time I've had a chance to touch uh, any of the Chapman guitars in, in, 
even see the people behind the, the guitars, and they're fantastic. I have to say, I'm surprised because they feel really, really nice. Uh, I love them. I just love seeing the new stuff that's coming out, and uh, seeing Chapman out here. I was just telling Rob, like, I saw him come up from like being really familiar with his music and his licks and, and seeing all that and him spawning this this beautiful array of guitars into the world that like has such a unique sound that no other company is really capturing right now. You know, it's, it's really cool. Puff. Puff the magic dragon. <laughs> Uh, I'm Andy and I'm here at NAMM to basically see all the new guitars and try to see what kind of new stuff they have this year at NAMM. And uh, the reason why I'm here at the Chapman Guitar Center is I'm trying to see all the new, the Pro Model Series, the Standard Series, and trying to maybe see if later on in the years what kind of guitar I want to buy for off the line. And honestly, it's one of the better uh, brands that I'm out here. Uh, probably my favorite model out of all the Chapman guitars would be the mo 3 b the Rubian Masada. I love it. Now I'm I'm all about the uh, the new big neck uh, UK built uh, Chapman. I don't even know what they're called yet, but they're amazing. Uh, the 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 biggest difference really is the the neck profile and the feel of the neck, the the finish of the neck, um, and of course the uh, the new ones with the stainless steel frets um, make a, a whole a, a big difference in how the guitar feels and plays. Yeah, definitely. Are oh, you? Yeah. Chapman Guitars um, currently has no providers in New Orleans area, that's where I'm from. Uh, I've only played Chapman Guitars here at the stand, I've never been able to have them here in the U.S. No, this is the first cha or first ever Chapman's I've ever seen, I've never seen them Guitar Center near me or anything. I haven't had a chance to play them, I've just seen them shredding on their channel. Well, my name is Michael Doyle, and I am the guitar guy at Guitar Center, I run their guitar business, and it's a lot of fun. Well, I was on holiday in England and I heard about Lee Anderton and his store and I thought, well, you know, it'll be nice to go and have a chat with him and see what's going on on that side of the pond, as it were. And he was telling me about Chapman Guitars and I was really intrigued, uh, especially from the excitement that he had for them and also how they came about, you know, thanks really to YouTube and Rob Chapman's, you know, following. And I thought, well, that's a great way of designing and developing and selling guitars. So I thought it would be an exciting journey to partner up with those guys and, um, and bring those guitars to America. 
Well, I think it's the novel way in which they they were in, invented, really. You know, they were created out of all of Rob's, you know, fans and subscribers saying what they wanted. You know, it was really built by by the musician. Um, and on top of the fact that Rob is a tremendous musician as well, and you can just tell that when you pick up the guitars, you know, with their stainless steel frets and things, you can tell that every detail has been poured over and sweated over. And um, so it, it, he's paid a lot of attention to details. But that was the thing that impressed me was that it was really built by musicians, and then he just brought brought to them what they already wanted. Oh yeah, yeah. When he he came out at the end of uh, 2017, and uh, actually right before Christmas, and we were hanging out together, and uh, you know it was like we were almost soulmates. You know we'd never met before, but it was like we felt like brothers, like kind of immediately, and it was wonderful. So uh, yeah, he's a great guy, as is Lee. You know, and and frankly, everyone at Chapman. I've enjoyed enjoyed working. With him.